you have the option of going into the project and finding the pauses. The cool thing about this is that it will highlight all of the pauses and you could delete them all. So one of the things that sped up my editing flow big time recently is text-based editing. Now, Premiere has had the ability for a little while to do uh, auto transcriptions and it's not always 100%, but now it's a lot better. So with text-based editing, it saves so much time. Uh, here's an example right here. I have sample audio. Uh, I just decided to throw it into Premiere and edit it very quickly from there to cut it down. So after you made your sequence, you're able to just transcribe. The computer will do its own work. It will automatically read the audio, see what words are in there, and transcribe them for you. Now if the audio is hard to hear, sometimes you won't get the proper word uh, transcribed. If it's a thick accent, it might be difficult as well but usually it does a pretty good job. I would say about 85% of it to 90% of it is there. Uh, so it's a great way to speed up your workflow. Now, here's the cool part. As the transcription finishes, you can click on the words and it'll take you to exactly where that is in the timeline. As you can see right here, bam, the timeline moved. You could highlight stuff and it will in and out point that whole portion for you. Let's say you wanted to just make a quick export of a highlighted phrase for someone to reference. Here you go. It's got your in and out points and you just press export and you're set. And now here's the same example, but from an earlier version. Now, as you look through that transcription, you could see a lot of ellipses. That is dead air. So you have the option of going into the project and finding the pauses. The cool thing about this is that it will highlight all of the pauses and you could delete them all. It gives you two different options for deleting. You have option one, which is lift, which just removes that portion where the dead air is. So let's say I wanted to go back in, but I didn't want, I wanted all those gaps filled up because now I'm left with a timeline that has a bunch of gaps in it. So what you could do, go back into the pauses, it will highlight them and you press delete again. But this time select delete all for extract not from lift. This will actually delete the gaps in the sequence for you. So you don't have to do any of the work for that after. As to where lift just removes that section that is highlighted, extract will actually delete those pauses. Another edit that I was doing was script based this week. Uh, the producers already knew what they wanted in the script. So all I had to do was compile everything together properly. Now, when it comes to auto transcribing, this is perfect. This is what it was made for. I could select in the script what the producers have already approved for the structure of the timeline. Then I could even paste in the phrase and it will find the phrase for me in the sequence. This is extremely time saving. For stuff like this, it just makes work fly by so quickly. I think another situation that I could use it in is for my climbing footage. If I go outside and I want to do something a little bit more conversation based, I could see what's popping up on the text based editing and what looks interesting to edit around. This is a time saver. I'm going to keep using it. That's what I've got for today. Keep clicking guys. I'll see you on the next one.